Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see me, have a go at doing a Victoria Beckham inspired makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm not going to put any primer on for two reasons. The first being that Victoria has two of her own primers in her Victoria Beckham beauty range of which I have neither because they are about £100-ish for 30 mils. Apparently they are absolutely amazing. They contain amazing skincare technology from Augustinus Bader. They are like priming moisturisers. I don't own one. Please tell me in the comments below if you've tried one and you think I need to put it on my birthday list. I saw in a video with Lisa Eldridge where Victoria and her did each other's makeup that Victoria liked to mix her moisturiser which is this one, it's the cream from Augustina Spada they used the um, IT Cosmetics CC cream and they mixed these two together now this cream is very expensive it costs £205 for 50 millilitres the reason I have this is because I got a sample of the richer version of this in a beauty advent calendar fell in love my heart broke when I found out the price it has really improved my skin which is not perfect but it is infinitely better than it was before I started using the cream. I got hooked. I managed to find this in a reduced gift set after Christmas. So because I'm going to be mixing this bougie ass cream with the foundation, I don't want a primer to block the age-defying benefits of this amazing but expensive cream. So I hope I still get the benefits after mixing it with the foundation. So I'm just going to put out one pump this is what the cream looks like. Doesn't smell like much, but wow, it's powerful. And then I'm just gonna put a pump of my It Cosmetics CC cream. I use the shade Fair Light. It's got SPF 50 in. It's also your concealer in one. It smells like lemon meringue pie, which is probably not that good for the skin, but it smells dreamy. So I'm just gonna mix these on my hand. I've never done this before. Victoria said she likes to mix her foundation with her moisturiser to give a bit of a lighter look. Oh, smells so good. So I'm just gonna try and get that all onto my face without wasting any at all. And as always, I like to, oh wow. That cream has given it a really nice texture. I like to work it in with my fingers and then blend out with a damp beauty sponge which actually the sponge kind of absorbs some of the product and I don't want any of this cream getting absorbed whatsoever so I'm gonna try and get as much worked in with my fingers as I can and then just finish off with a sponge that Augustinus Beta cream has made the CC cream even dewier so good tip Victoria. I just hope I'm still getting the benefits of that cream because I have um, obviously diluted it with foundation. Finish that off with my damp beauty blender. Wow, what a beautiful finish. That Victoria, I'm sure, has definitely learned a few things from makeup artists along the way. So I will definitely be using that trick. I'm just going to do half a pump. More things I do to emulate Victoria Beckham. Who do I think I am? And I'm just going to pat onto the areas where I'd like a bit more coverage. Which is basically everywhere. <laughs> and we'll rub that in. Wow. My complexion is looking very peaches and cream, I must say. And this combination gives a really radiant finish. I wouldn't say I'm looking like Victoria, but maybe there's a hint. What do you think, everyone? Wow. I mean, this is the most expensive thing I've ever put on my face, but it's looking nice. Obviously, the coverage is lighter when you dilute with a cream. Okay, I'm not going to build that base up anymore, mainly because I can't afford to. 
Victoria is a fan of the classic Touche Eclat. I've got mine here in some limited edition packaging, but this is the shade one. And this is the iconic highlighter that people like to use. Sorry guys, I've got a new one here. Under their eyes to bring luminosity and light. I have shadowing underneath my eyes, there it is, caused by my bone structure. So I'm always looking to bring luminosity under the eyes. They have released an opaque version of this. I'm just going to put this in my smile lines too. And my brow furrow, just to see if I can get some light bouncing out of those wrinkles. So yeah, I haven't tried the version of this which has more coverage in. If you have, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Is it worth buying? So that's just bringing some light to the face. It's a classic. Doesn't do anything dramatic. I think it's often quite misunderstood. Some people think it's a concealer, which is why I think they brought out their high coverage version. Okay, looking light and looking luminous. Dare I say glowy, which is VB's kind of signature skin look. Victoria said that she used her lip tint on her cheeks sometimes. The Victoria Beckham Beauty range doesn't have a blush product, but I'm sure it'll be coming. So I have this in the newest shade, Sherry, which is a kind of pinky rose tone. They do also have it in another shade, Bisou, which is a bit of more of a vampy, deeper berry tone. Now I know that stains dry very fast, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks and then work that in really quickly before it sets down. Not sure how this product is gonna work on top of that base, but Victoria says she does it, so I wanna do it too. I'll just build that up slowly. And that is a pretty pink flush on the cheeks as well. It's really subtle, so I'm gonna get a bit brave and build it up a bit more on each side. I hope I'm not getting too complacent, <laughs> whapping it on there. Gives a really dewy, actually natural, healthy glow. I like what I'm seeing. Not sure if you can see it um, in the camera, but it's looking quite nice in person. I always like to put a bit of blush on the nose to bring a bit of health to the skin and Pop some more on that side. I feel like I'm playing a very dangerous game here. I'm just gonna go with a hint of a tint and uber natural, but I think that looks really, really nice. And Lisa Eldridge used the Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder on her. I just have a little mini and I'm going to get a slanted brush. It's a Spectrum A05 and I'm just going to pick up some of that contour shade on the brush. Down. Down. It's so hard. I'm used to going up for some reason. Now at this stage I'm thinking I look a bit stripey. Um, so I'll just blend and blend and pray to the blending gods. Hmm. I look a bit of a stripy mess. I will hopefully be able to correct that with some translucent powder. I'll let that set for a while, do the eyes, see if it's melted into the skin or if I need to try and soothe that with the powder. I'm just really trying to blur these edges to death. I applied the contour with the pointy end of the brush so what I've been doing is just taking that side of the brush with no product on and blending as though my life depended on it. 
The Natasha Denona green and brown palettes, very well loved. And I'm gonna dip into this chocolatey brown shade here. Tap in that Touche Claire that was chilling in my crease and I'm gonna blend that into the crease. Victoria uses quite kind of deep brown shades on her eyes, more so than I would. But I'm going to go with it for the purposes of today. And I'm really going to just keep buffing and blending to soften and diffuse that line. Natasha Denona eyeshadows blend really easily. I'll take some of that down onto my lid as well to give it a base. I'm going to put a bit of shimmer on top of this. We tend to see those chocolatey, shimmery, smoky eyes from Victoria. Really intensifying that brown. I'm focusing mostly on the outer corner. I don't want too much colour on the inner of my eye. It can make them look a bit sunken. I've got a lot of pigment there. But like I did with the contour, I'm just gonna keep blending and hope for the best. I'm just gonna buff out. Is that saving me? Who knows? I'm gonna use that beauty sponge that I applied my base with just to try and clean up that edge a little bit. Victoria likes to do quite a lot of heavy eyeshadow as well underneath her eye. So I'm gonna do like Victoria does, dipping again into this brown shade, tap off the excess. Oh my gosh, I've got eyeshadow flying here because I keep picking up that palette to show you guys and there's a broken shadow in there, which is one of my favorite shades. So I'm gonna go a bit Uncle Fester under here to do as Vicky B does when in Rome, hey? I'm gonna keep blending. I'm just connecting that up the top as well. And I'll smoke that out underneath the lash line. Maybe I've even done that too much. Now, with my finger, I'm just gonna pick up some of this lovely soft eyeshadow that's actually so soft, it's cracked in the pan. So I've got that on my finger and I'm going to tap that onto my lid. So beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into Tourmaline with a little Spectrum A15 brush and I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner and then drag that down to meet that eyeshadow underneath the eye and that's complemented that really really nicely actually. I know Victoria likes to use a black coal in her waterline. I don't have a Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeliner, but I'm more than happy with my Rimmel Scandalize liner. Maybe a little bit heavy for day, but I know that Victoria really, just do a little bit of tight lining on that upper eyelid as well. Connect that. Victoria really likes to make her eyes the focus. Okay, I'm as happy as I'm gonna get with that eye and I'll finish off the other eye off camera because it's boring, so I'll be right back. And I'm back with hopefully somewhat matching eyes. But I'm gonna use just this mini Hoola um, Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. So what she did, I'm scared she drew a stripe. <laughs> She just drew a stripe like that on both sides of her nose. Kind of like, oh gosh. And then she just blended them in with her fingers. Wish me luck. 
I think I did a bigger stripe on one side. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. It's not looking very fab to me. Oh dear, what do you think? And then she also shortened her nose by drawing a little line right there. And then she just again blended that in. Another thing I saw them do was highlight Victoria's face with the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur, which again, I thought this was just a skin tone evener, but if Lisa Eldridge did it, I'm gonna do it. And I already have this shade. I have it in the shade Latte, which may or may not be a highlighty shade for me. Again, I'm just gonna pray to the makeup gods, tap onto my cheekbones. It does have a sheen. Victoria said she liked to highlight down the nose. Now this is, shade is looking a bit too brown to be highlighty for me, but I'll just keep blending. Oh, what do you think? It does look like quite pretty on camera. I'm gonna use my sponge again to kind of work that in. Do we like it? Do we not like it? What do you reckon, everyone? It does catch the light quite nicely. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna add any more of that. I'll just leave that as a subtle kind of glow. Victoria shared that her powder of choice is the Flora Mercier Loose, whoop, I just made a mess, translucent setting powder. And she said her tip was to take a really small beauty sponge and apply with this just where she wanted to stop shine. So I've just dipped in, got some on my sponge. Now, I'm not really a powdery gal. I don't like to look matte, I like to look glowy. So I'm really just gonna apply around the nose. Gotta set that nose contour. That's really the place where I don't want to shine. That's made that look quite smooth, actually. Very nice. Apply a little bit here, just where I put that contour, just to try and blend it out a bit. I should hopefully take it down. Yeah, so basically I've just ended up bouncing powder all over my face, but that's okay because Victoria uses a very glowy face mist. So I'll be able to bring back some of the glow. Victoria's favorite eye product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have got the brush as well, which is the number 12 brush. It's got this side for applying the pomade and this spoolie side for brushing through. I've got the shade medium brown. This is a bit heavier than I would like to go for my brows, but Victoria loves it, so I'm just gonna do a bit of a light touch with it. I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna try and just draw on gentle hair-like strokes. This is a really good product. Oops. It lasts all day and it doesn't run down your face. I just think I always put too much on. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do to correct. My finger's probably not the best tool to try and correct. I look like I've got laminated brows now. Try and feather that out a bit. But yeah, once it's on, it doesn't move, so. Beware. Yeah, I've got some very bold brows for today. So intense. If you've got any tips on using dip brow, please put them in the comments because I need them. Maybe I should start in the thicker part of the brow rather than starting at the beginning. I will brush these through with the spoolie side of the brush. Oh my gosh. These are some bold brows. I am just gonna have to try and rock them with confidence. Now I'm using the spoolies to try and 
just gonna have to live with it, woman. Okay, I'm over it. I really like this product. Oh, well, I've got some of my teeth there. But it is really easy to apply. Goes on really smooth. And I think Victoria does do her lips quite subtle and leaves the focus on the eyes. So I'm not going to do too much. Really good applicator on this. Yep, yeah, I'm going to stay true to Victoria and leave the lips subtle. I love that stain, it really is a your lips but better shade. I think it's a really elegant product. Setting spray. Victoria apparently loves the Codlar Beauty Elixir and so do I, it gives such a gorgeous glow. My only issue with this one is it does contain denatured alcohol which can be drying if you use it on the skin a lot so I like to save it for special occasions. It is the Future Lash Mascara. So it's quite a dry formula which I would expect from a tubing mascara. It is not a dramatic mascara which tubing mascaras aren't really because they never give that much volume because they're just made of tubes um, and fibres but this is allowing me to slowly but surely build length. I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes too. If you've never used a tubing mascara I would recommend them if you suffer from panda eyes because they do never smudge. You will never get the dreaded panda eye with a tubing mascara. And I'm going to build this up more. Now I think if I keep building that they're in danger of getting clumpy. So I'm going to stop there. The brush is quite nice. It does allow you to capture every lash. So here we have it. This is the finished Victoria Beckham inspired makeup look. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Would you do a double take if you saw me in the street? Me neither. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'll see you in the next video.